I would say we're currently on day 40 of a 12 plus hour day. Hey everyone, we're the Tulips. Stephanie and I run a grain farm in southwestern Manitoba. We also have an Instagram account where we combine fashion and farming. And at the end of the day when we're done seeding and it's growing, it's just so rewarding. Here's a look at our day in the life as farmers. I run the drill all season long, it's an air seeder. Steph's helping me load it up today so we can finish the soybeans. We start with loading water in this tank and then putting inoculant in there which is a healthy bacteria for the beans and it lets them create nitrogen nodules on the roots. We don't use fertilizer with beans so this just helps it um, have a healthier environment. All right, so the tractor I run is an 8650 John Deere. Everything is manual, like I use all of my weight sometimes to get it into gear. This one's kind of more fun to drive, it really feels like you're driving it. And then Sandra has a, a 9060 New Holland. This is my seed monitor and it tells me how fast the fan is going. I'm gonna have to adjust it because we usually seed beans at about 4,500 RPM. Lots of farmers have more in-depth systems and they'll actually turn the tractors. At this time, we turn the tractor ourselves, but we're kind of medium tech farmers. <laughs> I'm gonna come behind her with, uh, it's called a packer. It's basically, it's like a big rolling pin. If there's any ridges or rocks, that'll get picked up by the header, so the front of the combine. So you want to roll them and then make it as flat as possible so that you can cut as low as possible. I think every possible thing on this drill broke. We run this machine for sometimes 12 hours a day or more. If that manifold underneath the air cart gets plugged, it will shut off rows to multiple boots. And, and you can't tell. You can't tell while you're in there because it's all underground. I bring Piper along. We have actually five dogs in our family but Piper's the only one who enjoys farming as much as we do. Overall the mental health help that she gives us out here is phenomenal because there are some very tough days out here and she's always there to put a smile on your face. I'm constantly checking the lines to make sure that every shovel is getting seed. One of the main manifold lines plugged, which means an eight foot section wouldn't have been getting seed. If I had kept going and not caught it, then there would have been eight foot strips left in the field and everyone would have heard about it. It would have been embarrassing and we also would have lost revenue off of it and the field would have been a mess. Meals are an integral part of farming. When I was growing up, that was that was the way it was. You know, my mom ran meals to the field. John's mom ran meals to the field. People that have been working for 12, 14 hours, they need something to get them out of the cab, have some time to be normal, and then get back into the solitary confinement. It's important, I think, to keep that kind of family dynamic uh, because otherwise we don't see each other. Generally a seeding day is over 12 hours minimum. Usually they're more like 16 hours a day and for some farmers they're a lot more than that even. It varies so much on your area and what equipment you have and how big your farm is. And it's really rewarding to go out and look at a field that you worked so hard on and it's green and lush and beautiful. Hopefully. Um, hopefully. <laughs> if you did everything right <laughs> and then yeah it's very rewarding and after some sleep you really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and then you miss it. <laughs>